Hello, Maria here with the Fourth Dimension. I am back, happy to be back after a brief, brief, brief trip. I am reading for the sign of Aries. Happy to be back though, back to the grind. Aries, I feel like you might be <laughs> right off the bat, man. <laughs> I feel like you might be dealing with a narcissist. I'm so sorry, Aries. I just kept pulling that card like three times as I looked down. I'm like, what's the story? If you are, I'm sorry. I feel like you're past it. You're moved on. Uh, you're holding on to this energy thinking they're going to change. Ugh, I know that feeling. Oof, married 28 years and that son of a bitch is still the same. <laughs> He's actually, we're actually amicable. We're friends now and he isn't a narcissist. So those that know him, I'm not beating him up. I love him tremendously as a friend. But whoever you're dealing with, um, telling you, it was heartbreak and it was like drag down fights. I don't know, verbal fights, arguing. You are passive aggressive at times. Sorry, I'm gonna call it out. Nobody gets off the stage here without a, a bruise or two. That's what I heard. So like, if you want your, like, I feel like you guys are fighting and if you could swing at each other, you would. That's the feeling I have is you both would be swinging at each other. Aries, I don't know who this energy is, but it just, it's like they stand on your last nerve every single time they open their mouth, but you love the hell out of them. Oh my goodness. All right, Aries, let's find out what's going on. This is not, it's just an oracle real quick. It's cosmic insight. Tell me what Aries is dealing with. What is Aries dealing with? If I don't, I'll pull. I want that one. Okay. Yes, luck is on your side. Patience. Uh, just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. A confession is coming in. I feel like you're going to get some in insight, downloads, intel, on the situation, new information is gonna come in that's gonna help you heal from uh, whatever this relationship was. One more, please, I'm getting told. And water sign, you're dealing, I swear to God, I swear to God, I don't know what it is. It's like a heavy on the Cancer and heavy on the Scorpio. Could be dealing with the Pisces as well, but um, I feel like this person, Aries, uh, if you have had an in and out relationship with this person, a marriage maybe, um, a long standing, relationship right knock down police called like restraining <laughs> i'm getting like er, you know like i love you you know eminem with the you know it's just eminem level passion eminem and there's a song that he did with rihanna you know i'm not gonna repeat it but um it said that love to hate you love to hate you and it's that energy and and that's it's almost like the fight, it goes back to the fight was worth, that's how I knew you loved me as you, you fought with me and this energy is missing that. I'm sorry, but they're not fighting with anybody. There isn't anybody to really fight with. Maybe themselves, they're sitting back and they're seeing kind of how toxic this relationship was, um, how their actions damaged it. And the, I'm not, I haven't even pulled the tarot card, but it's like remorse. It's, it's hermit energy. It's hermit energy. Um, and this person's sad, very, very sad that this thing is now final and all the coulda, woulda, shoulda's in the world isn't going to make what happened get better. They can't undo what's happened. This is an upright deck. On the bottom of the deck, I had the Queen of Swords. You're coming. You're you're coming off in a defensive. You can you're approachable, but you're guarded, um, and you're going to have some honest conversation, whether this person wants it or not. This person's sitting in a reverse Seven of Wands, um, not you know avoiding kind of uh, their feelings, avoiding responsibility. Still a hundred percent responsibility um, of their part. This person is led by fear. And okay, so if there was a whole party, right, walking down the street with signs and they're, they're like screaming at the top of their voices for their rights to be heard, right? Fear is leading the pack. Fear is like, I'm not gonna be heard. I'm not as important as this person says I'm supposed to be. I'm not feeling important. I'm not feeling, um, I'm not feeling this person loves me. 
Because I think your fighting quit. You you pulled all your energy back. That's the feeling I have. And this person doesn't, you know, doesn't feel like they're even a challenge to you anymore. Like you've risen above this person. And it's creating a lot of pain. They saw you as somebody worth investing in, the Nine of Pentacles. I think if they could, um, and they may have come in or tried to fix this with money or a gift. Um, I hear patience is something that this person is not, um, how do I say this nicely? <sighs> this person would love to have a magic wand and fix this relationship, this water sign, if it is a water sign. I also get Taurus in here heavily or possibly a Gemini, Aries, another Aries, similar sign, um, maybe even Aquarius. Um, but if it's a Cancer or a Scorpio, possibly a Pisces, they might be saying, be patient with me. They might be going through a transformation. They might be trying to end something and come back to you. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean a third party relationship. I feel like they might be recovering from something, um, an illness. It could be mental health. It could be relationship. It could be they're going through treatment. They're doing something. Um, they're finishing out. I feel like they're finishing a chapter and they're asking you don't make any major decisions and coming in and they're going to come in with a confession. They might have already come in with a confession and told you something. Plus, I feel you're also getting downloads spiritually as well as from family members, their friends, your friends. You're getting downloads. You're seeing stuff that resonates with what they're telling you, right? Um, the Six of Cups, they feel like you've let this go. They have nothing but, this is an upright deck, y'all, and these are all in the reverse. Five of Wands in the reverse and Three of Wands uh, in the upright. They feel you've moved forward. You don't, you're not fighting for this anymore and you're not even missing them. They feel it's because of their past behavior, which is what I feel like they're working on right now. Um, and that they mess this up and they are in the process of fixing this or at least addressing this. How about that? They're making baby steps. Several are taking large steps, like they're already started. They're moving in the, they're in treatment, they're in therapy, they're stopped their addiction. They told their third parties go away and block these folks. They've gotten, you know, put down the gambling or whatever the, whatever it was that was blocking this. Um, they want you to say yes. They want you to move forward with a yes. That's their hope. Tell me more. They don't, this is an upright deck. This is a previous lover. They feel like this is over. I swear, they feel like you have walked away, not looked back, and they are still sitting in the upright. I have the fool in the reverse. Again, up, upright deck, y'all. I'm just checking. Look at this. The whole deck is in the upright and you got all the reversals. You have the fool in reverse. I feel they feel um, they're stuck. They can't offer you a loving relationship because this could have been any two cards in the deck, y'all, to give me um, or a several combination of cards to give me the same um, language. But spirit, I feel, is leading me to the two, the, the lovers and the fool, these two cards in the reverse on purpose is because this was a divinely orchestrated relationship that was off the ground, deeply invested in, and the fool in reverse, meaning it's stuck, it can't go forward, and the lover's reversed is also, it's not unrequited. This is an unrequited relationship. Maybe you've elevated beyond caring about this person and they haven't stopped loving you. This person, I don't care if you've been divorced from this person for years, if you've got a break, if this is a recent break, if this was a back and forth with a long pause, I don't care. Whatever this is, the energy that's coming back is trying to elevate themselves, trying to make better their life. I feel like you are as well. I feel like you two are talking, but they are now at a higher elevated level. They are showing up they should have the first time. They just weren't mature enough the first time. They didn't know what they didn't know. It's not their fault. They just didn't, they didn't, they were untreated. Yep, five of swords. That's the, in their head, full of anxiety, fear. Um, that's where they're sitting. They're fearing that you move forward. They have no, um, they don't think that you're invested anymore. They've let go. They feel like you've let go. They haven't let go. They feel like you've, you've let go. Anything else for Aries? Four of Cups. This was a missed opportunity uh, this last time. So I feel like the Four of Cups is something that they're afraid is both. It's kind of like a loop-de-loop. -loop. So this, again, 
this is a back and forth relationship between you and this person, long standing. Could be marriage, could be Aries, this could be um, whatever happened, they're feeling like you're gonna reject them. And also that they might have rejected you. They might have rejected you. Um, I just saw the Ace of Cups with the Knight of Swords coming through. So this person might come in rushing in to tell you their love. They want to. I feel like they want to burst um, from the seams. It's almost like spirits working on them. And they aren't going to keep this in for long, Aries. I feel like you're working on yourself. You're healed from this already. You're healed from the effery. How about that? You love this person. You have great feelings for this person. They see you as a star, and this is a death rebirth with the Eight of Swords. They're up in their head, full of anxiety. Can't sleep at night, can't eat. You're the thoughts that surround them. The Knight of Pentacles is them wanting to come in and have a conversation about a relationship and them finding balance. Um, you are their wishes fulfilled and they feel like they're going to be rejected if they come in. This is gonna hit a stagnant run. Tell me more, I'm gonna come here. What's, what's stopping this relationship from getting off the ground for Aries? The runner, they run away from responsibilities or run away from conflict and they hate, um, I shouldn't say, they're not afraid of commitment. They're an opportunist though. I hate that word, but that's the truth. This person has a very, like very little self-control um, and they're spying on you and they're trying to see if you're seeing anybody else. They feel like they're not enough and addiction is, yeah. And this is a death. This is, they think that this, di this died already. There's the Grim Reaper again. So you have the coffin and the, they feel like this thing, they feel that this thing is dead. They want to resurrect it. They want to come back and they want to offer you this relationship. The thing that was blocking this relationship previously was addictions and them feeling never good enough for you. They felt you were better. And your actions, you showed up, you did the right things, you were always responsible, and this person had always kind of dodged, took an easier, softer route, um, cut corners, per se. Um, when they, they could have been uh, working at eight o'clock, they show up at 8.30 or nine, lied about the car being broken or the kids needing assistance and they didn't. If they, you know, like they always kept their commitment, but by the skin of their teeth. And they, I feel like they sabotaged this relationship. It just made it really hard for you to jump in at a hundred percent because of their own, their own insecurities, their own faults, their own, their own issues that you had to fix. I felt like you, they expected you to fix them and you did it because there's no fixing addiction. <laughs> there's no cleaning up addiction. You can't clean it up. You know, uh, I feel like this person sees you as a soulmate and I feel that this person had a lot of options and keys on a ring is many doors. So they had many opportunities to, to make this right and they didn't take it. Plus um, they see that you now have a lot of options um, that you could take at any given time. And they feel like they're not even a part of the option pile anymore. They're, you don't even think of them. I think that's what hurts them the most is that um, you're the one that got away. Aries, my heart breaks for you. This took a lot of healing for you. You went through a lot. What are they thinking? Yeah, and they're saying, you were the best thing in my life. You're the best thing in my life. The goat, you're the greatest of all time. And they are kicking themselves. Every time they sit and think about you with somebody else, they get mad. They don't even, there's no valid proof that you're with somebody, but I feel like if they've seen you out and about or with somebody, they're super pissed off and hurt and angry and resentful at you. You didn't do anything. They sabotage this themselves, but they're kicking themselves and they're sad and they're trying, they're looking at your pages or trying, they're asking their friends or trying to peek at you, figuring it out. I wish things could be different. You might've already been in a relationship. They could be in a relationship, but I feel this is more in line with, I wish I could go back and make things different. Not, I wish things could be different. I wish I could have changed the outcome. I wish I would have been such an ass. I want to lie to you. I cheated on you. I, I did all these things to you when you were the best thing that ever happened to me right in my life i wish i wouldn't have done any of those things i didn't know that then i was ignorant because i was so self-centered and hurt and in my brokenness i didn't see who you were to me and that you were my blessing i didn't realize that it was my fault but i blame you i love it when i feel a certain feeling and then i say it and 
think it, say it, and then spirit validates it. I love it when that happens. I love tarot. So I have uh, the golden mirror. This person projects a lot onto you, and I feel like they're just coming out of that. They're understanding what projection means in their life is when they're, um, like, they're the first ones. It's, it's weird. It's like if they're feeling insecure because they cheated on you, let's say, they're the ones that say to their friends, oh, she's probably, she probably has had a boyfriend or a girlfriend as it resonates, you know, cheated on me the whole time when they're the ones cheating. That's projection because they don't feel good about themselves. This is a self-esteem issue. They don't feel like they're enough or valued. Um, and that's not your problem to fix, but that gives you some insight as to what the hell has happened. What happened? Why did this, you know, tell me what else, what does this person feel about Aries? What would they like to say? I left when I saw you with somebody else. So that's the other vibe I had. And again, it doesn't mean, um, so for a handful of you, I feel like you were out and you might've been a little, um, sorry, I'm gonna keep it flirty with somebody at a situation or a party. And this person might've reacted to you even talking to somebody who they felt intimidated by and instead of dealing it with like a human being would is addressing it or not just internalizing it and saying, oh, I'm enough, you know, whatever this person reacted and left. And I feel like they left the relationship or reacted and cheated on you because of that. And that's what they're using to stand on is that, oh, well you gave that guy a look. So therefore I cheated on you. That doesn't even equate, but that's the, that's who we're dealing with here. Um, I feel you, even though we're apart, you actually have a telepathic, telekinetic relationship. They dream about you. They talk to you in their dreams. You guys have conversations at night. That's the hardest time this person has um, is when they're alone. They really struggle. They think about you all the time, especially in the evening. Um, they think about you in a sexual manner. They go back and forth through the, the lifetime you've had together the life cycle you've had together and the woulda, coulda, shoulda, and they remember the good times and the laughter. They love your infectious laugh. They love how you look. They love your long hair. They love how you wear it in a ponytail. Um, if you have long hair, I feel like you, um, you did things for this person above and beyond that just shocked them. Like they were shocked, like, whoa, whoa. Nobody's ever done that for me. And it could have been purchasing them something you couldn't afford. Um, they knew you couldn't afford it, but you made it happen. Uh, celebrating a birthday with flair, like taking them on a trip, uh, surprising them at work, like extraordinary stuff. Like for them, it was extraordinary. This person came from nothing. Um, I feel they came from hardship, right? And everything, like I was, I'm an Irish background. I'm an Irish Italian. So you have 18 kids and a potato and you freaking made it work. That's the vibe is dirt poor um one potato and that's the vibe i get off this person is there they weren't ex they never expected anything but they were constantly overwhelmed with how much you gave knowing that you had little as well how's that so they value they're telling like they're recognizing the energy it took for you to do those things and they're reminded of that energy now as they look back and they're like nobody's ever done that for me ever since then ever since then nobody's ever done that for me Anything else this person wants, he wants to say, Aries. We both know I am not the one for you and we will be together again in the reverse. So this person's fear is you're, you're definitely at a higher level than this person. They, they know it. They know you're, you could have anybody. I'm hearing that they, she could have any, he could have anybody. Um, they aren't even in your vibration they're not even registering and that's why I feel like we both know I'm not the one they might have even told you why are you with me or asked you I can't believe you're with me why are you you could have anybody that's the feeling I have and this is um we'll always you know we will be together again in the reverses it's never gonna I can manifest all I want but this person's already learned their lesson as already elevated to a higher level that's the energy I feel that's their fear they're sitting in they got to deal with that Aries before they come in and approach you. Um, I do think it's gonna happen in this next season. We just had a new moon, full moon last night. So I feel like, again, this person might've done some moon magic. That's the other thing with that. Um, just call it a bonus, call it a bonus. They might also do um, 
I, I don't want to say warlock, <laughs> but I definitely got some, they, okay, I feel like they've gone to a tarot reader. I think they have done a few readings on you specifically to see if you've moved on, Aries, and they believe that you're highly spiritual as well. So that's how I feel like you, you both have this connection um, and you vibrate at that level, but I do feel like this person misses you more often, but I feel like they've let you go because you've already let them go. So just know that, that this person currently in this energy, especially if they're a water sign, it is cancer season, moving into Leo season here shortly. And uh, during this new moon, they've utilized this new moon to try to, um, I feel, get you back, get you back. So this is this is your reading, Aries. This, this is what I, I'm picking up on. If this resonated, you want your own personal reading, uh, details in the description box on how to schedule a private paid personal reading for you, with you, um, or in the box below. I am giving away some free readings in July, so if you would like to go into that contest, uh, please leave a positive comment, heart, something um, to show your interest in the comment section. And until next time, Aries, love and light. Take care.